Tell us the why about PhonePay. What is the vision and mission of PhonePay? So the vision and mission of PhonePay is fairly simple. We want a transactional focused company that is anchored on payments. Anytime there is a payment, whether a micro payment or a major payment, we want it to be seamless. We want it to be a good experience for the user, right? And that's the genesis of which PhonePay started from. So through a previous acquisition, we were acquired by a company and then the product was scratched, not because it wasn't an amazing product, it's just that micro payments was not available in any size or form, right? So today with PhonePay, we hope to solve that problem. We believe we made a dent in the problem. We have a long way to go, but uh, if there is a transaction of any form happening, which is anchored on payments, we want you to think PhonePay, right? So our mission has always been, we had broken down the market into four segments, right? Send, spend, grow, and manage, right? So send, spend, manage, and grow. So the send is the first one we cracked, which is where you send me money, I send you money. Through the UPI platform, it directly goes into your account. You're not tied into anyone's wallet, etc. The spend is where it's a convenience for you. So you, instead of dealing with cash, you're making all your payments using a digital payment mechanism like phone pay, right? Manage is how do you manage your existing tax funds, your gold that you want to purchase. So phone pay offers digital as well as physical gold that you can buy, right? And then grow is actually how do you grow your money? Now that you've done these three things, the next step is to help you grow your wealth. And so that's the genesis of Phone Pay. So Barzan, as one of India's leading fintech institutions, you've got massive scale. So what are some of the key challenges, whether it's in processing data or other challenges that you face, and how are you overcoming them? Uh, for us, First and foremost is to holistically solve the payment problem, right? So when you choose phone pay as a payment mechanism, it should work 98 to 100% of the time, right? We are making a dent in that arena. I think we have a lot of happy customers on that. But more importantly for us, it's to bring the digital revolution to tier two and tier three cities and beyond as the mobile penetration is increasing in all the tier two tier three cities with smartphones we want them to jump onto the digital bandwagon and how to solve any problem we tackle where it should work for a billion people that is our greatest challenge i mean we can overcome technology, we can overcome physical limitations, we can overcome machine limitations, but whatever it is that we do, we want to be able to holistically solve for the population of India. So, and we looked at that with a clear laser focus lens, as in, if you're taking something on, is it going to scale for the scale we want to use it at? So that has been our biggest challenge. And that's a fairly awesome challenge to have. So you just talked about the challenge of making payments work for over 1.2 billion Indians. So give us a glimpse of the cutting edge technology that you've deployed to make this happen. So what we, whenever we launch a product or a new feature, right, we look and see how is it that it is going to be able to scale to a large audience. Today we have 365 million active phone pay users, right? We transact close to $680 billion a year of money that flows over the phone pay network, right? 
So at that scale, what we are looking at is uh, regional languages to help people. Uh, tier 2, Tier 3 cities, how to use different forms of augmented reality, vision, to bring them onto the digital journey so that they start using digital currency, right? And they jump onto the bandwagon where they are now transacting in a cashless society. So our challenges are how to make the product easy and reachable at tier two, tier three, and beyond. That is our major challenge. From a technology standpoint, we are very much into the open source arena. Everything we've built is on the open source framework, right? So we have a massive farm of our DMZ machines that run a load balancer called Nginx, which today can transact close to 12,000 transactions per second at peak. Right. From there on, it goes inside into our demil out of the demilitarized zone into the DC. There, all the east-west traffic happens where the payload is generated before the answer goes back out to the end user. Right, and all of this happens in under four seconds max. So from the time you ask for a payment till the time you get success, our typical time is around three to four seconds. And regardless of peak times or non-peak times, we want to adhere to that SLA so that the user has an amazing experience. So Barzan, the special project at Mahape Nav1A has seen a lot of innovation where PhonePay, Dell and NTT have collaborated. What do you think about this initiative and how will it benefit you? I think this initiative started uh, 14 months ago when we were looking at a new generation of servers. The problem with server shuttles is that they are becoming more and more powerful. They consume more electricity per core which in turn requires them to get cooled. And traditional data centers are not equipped for that kind of cooling, right? So it turns out that to cool a thousand watts, you're spending close to 700 watts. And especially in a tropical country like India, where it's almost always hot, it behooves us to look at alternative technologies to see how we can benefit from them. So the genesis of this entire project was how can we consume the latest generation of servers, do something good for the country, and probably be one of the first ones to achieve a better PUE, and do something awesome for the country at the same time. Awesome. So it's great to know that a cutting edge innovation like liquid immersion cooling is not only good for your business, uh, allowing you to consume the latest uh, processes that uh, industry has to offer, but it's also good for the environment. Um, how does it impact the business outcome of your company? From a business outcome, I mean, it, it makes the servers last longer because they are fully immersed in a dielectric uh, synthetic oil, which takes away all forms of corrosion, jitter, right, which makes the machines last longer. So the mean time between failure actually goes up by about 30%, right. But at the same time, it uh, also makes it extremely, not extremely, but it makes it kind of cumbersome to service the machine if it's not a part that is hot swappable. So it's, uh, it's something you invest in when you have a very large scale, and which is where phone pay is right now, right. We are one of the first, uh, at least the only fintech company that is entirely on their own, not in the cloud. So we have deployed and developed our own cloud, our own technologies, and we deploy our own servers at NetMagic, as you're aware. And uh, so for us, the innovation is twofold. One is to increase the life of our servers, get better power efficiencies, and get denser in our scale. Excellent. So, at Entity, it's been an honor to partner with you and kind of partner in the innovation that you've come up with. What is your view of the partnership with Entity? 
It's been an amazing journey. As you know, we've known each other for almost 15 years now. Through the old days where we worked together at Flipkart, now on to PhonePay, NTT is one of the few data center providers that is customer centric, right? I mean, you live and breathe customer success. And that is essential for a hyper growth company like PhonePay. Thank you, Burjan.